This video explains how to get the correlation of one variable to all the others in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example data frame, as you can see in lines 2 to 6 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data set called data is appearing. And if you click on this data set, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains four columns, which are called x1, x2, x3, and x4. And all of these columns contain random numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to get the correlation of the column x1 to all the other columns. Then we can apply the core function, as you can see in lines 8 and 9 of the code. And within this function, we need to specify a subset of our data frame. So in the first part of the core function, we are removing all columns but the column x1. And then in the second part of the core function, separated by a comma, I'm specifying the column x1. And then I'm storing the output of the core function in a new data object that I'm calling data core. So if you run lines 8 and 9 of the code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object called data core is appearing at the top right. And we can print the content of this data object to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 10 of the code. And then you can see that we have created an output which contains only one column and the row names of this matrix are corresponding to the other columns of our data frame x2, x3 and x4. And the values in this column correspond to the correlations of the column x1 to the other columns. So for instance, the correlation between the column x1 and the column x2 is 0.034. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.